Brenda, you're back. Francisco, Mariela, Jackie, Blanca. Hey, Blanca, you're back too. <clears throat> what happened yesterday? The same thing that happened to me the last time that I <laughs> lost the class. <laughs> oh, no. oh my God. When I when I go to bed only to rest, uh, automatically um, I fell asleep. Sorry. So, you have to set an alarm. That's yeah, yeah. That's and my must. mom doesn't doesn't wake wake up me wake, because wake me, up. Uh, wake me up. Sorry, because she doesn't know that that I have class. Oh, and yeah, and then tomorrow when I, in the morning I have to tell her that that why she doesn't wake me up uh, and she say that 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 she doesn't know yeah <laughs> because that can affect you in the in the in the percentage right yeah so, yeah sorry hopefully it's not gonna happen again hopefully yeah. Yeah, I, I, I forgot about that, so I, I would have called you probably. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's true. I thought that it was because of another reason. No, I, I always have to, I always try to, to inform in the group or something if I have something to Connection do or, problems. Uh -huh. yeah yeah but <laughs> yesterday it wasn't the case yesterday. yeah okay so welcome and um let me see who else is here floor is there too hi teacher good evening oh good evening i i on the car i'm not driving but i on the car on way to my house Okay, okay, on the way home. Got it. Francisco, what's the weather? What's the weather like in the sky? It's a little um, nublado. Cloudy. Cloudy, yeah. Cloudy, okay. But this, I like the, the, the picture. I I put in the uh, background. background, yes. Yeah, I, I like it too, it's really nice. Okay, it's to, to relax, a little relax. So you're feeling heaven. Yes. But, but no, it's for no. to sleep. <laughs> okay, okay, it's not to sleep, I got it. Yes. Only me a, a little song with a piano for to sleep. <laughs> okay, cool. So we're ready to get started with the session number 22. 21. 21. Oh, okay, 20. yesterday was 20. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. yes, yes. Hey, Karen, good to see you. What happened yesterday? We oh. lost you. In I had bad connection yesterday. I didn't know what was happening. Okay, okay. Yeah, I, I just remember that you said that you were driving and then I, I well, we didn't see you again. <laughs> Hello. Hi. So I was telling you that yesterday we were waiting for you and then uh, we didn't see you again. So I suppose that the connection was a, a problem, right? Or what's the reason? But I, I was connected close to half hour, I think. And that, uh, and after that, it goes out and go out and go out. And it once again, and once again, it kicked you out of the of the of the class. Yes. The platform. Okay. Well, of the app, right? Okay. 
Oh, that was strange. Um, no, but it was my internet. Okay, okay. There was an, a message in the in the screen that said uh, you have a unstable connection. Connection. Or like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it happens to me. It happens to me too sometimes. It says it, you have unstable connection. So what I do is that I turn off the camera. So that helps me. Okay. And well, let's move on. Uh, what do you remember from yesterday, guys? Uh, Brenda, uh, Blanca, we're not here, so maybe you can tell them a little bit about yesterday's class. Hello. Hey, Freddy's. So, Freddy's, Francisco, Jackie, Flor, Elizabeth, Janari, Mariela, Diana. You were here yesterday. What do you What do you remember from from the class? Yesterday, like we used uh, show how, for example, shoot up, shoot up. Shoot up. Uh huh. That was one one structure that we practiced. For regrets, right? For regrets. Yes. Arrepentimientos, right? So, for example, you say today, right? Uh, well, Blanca can say, I should have set up an alarm clock yesterday. <laughs> I should have set up an alarm clock yesterday. Or uh, maybe you say, you can say, I should have uh, practiced more. For the for the test or for the class, right? Uh, today I already shared one link with you through the WhatsApp group. I am going to send you more links for you to study and practice the topic that we were that we, we were studying. And yes, that was one of the topics that we practiced: how to express regrets using should uh, plus have and the verb in the past participle. So, um, in my case, right, maybe the indication was not clear for you to do an activity. And I say, mm, I should have explained the, the activity in a different way. So I regret that I didn't do it in another way, right? And all my students were confused. So I say, I should have explained this activity in a different way. Debería haber explicado esta actividad de otra manera. Okay, so uh, is an example. I think so far we haven't had many confusions, right, in the class. Hey, Harvey, welcome. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. So we're ready to start. I'm going to uh, call out your names, uh, first of all, to check who's here and who's not. And after that, we're going to have a quick review uh, besides what I already mentioned. Uh, give me just a second. Okay, so I don't have the correct. Mm -mm. No, it's not this one. Give me a sec. Okay, so besides the should have, we also practice uh, the third conditional. Okay, that was uh, using could or would plus have and the past participle. That is in the, uh, in the result class, but we also studied the condition class. And for that, I was doing a little uh, slide with explanation and examples about that. So uh, for that reason, I am going to share again, okay, the screen with you. I'm, I didn't send it to the WhatsApp group, but I will show it to you right now so you can take a screenshot. I gave the structure, the examples, right? And we were practicing with different examples, different sentences, 
Uh, so I think it was a very nice way to understand how to structure this. Because in English, we call it a third conditional. Okay, so for example, when I say, imagine that um, I have an accident, okay, uh, a little car accident, because I was using my cell phone, I was sending a message in my cell phone. So after the accident, I think, mm, if I hadn't used my cell phone, or if I hadn't sent that message on my cell phone, I wouldn't have had the accident. I wouldn't have had the accident. So it's a regret about something that already happened. So I think about the, the cause and the effect, the result, right? And the reason why it happened. So in Spanish, how would you say that? If I hadn't used my cell phone, I wouldn't have had a car accident. Translators? Si no hubiera usado, si no hubiera usado mi teléfono, no hubiera tenido un accidente. Si no hubiera usado mi teléfono, no habría tenido un accidente. Okay, that's correct. So uh, that is the way that we use it, okay? Now we're going to move on and uh, I will show you that in a moment, okay? Beatriz is not here uh, because of the inconvenience, right, that she had. Uh, so we're going to continue with Elizabeth. Hi, teacher, I'm here. Hello. Uh, Mariela. I'm here. Brenda. Hello. Carla is not here. We continue with Diana. Present. Are you sick, teacher. Diana? Hello. Um, sorry, teacher. I don't know if you could read the message I sent you, but the problem is that uh, here in my zone in which I live, nobody is having internet from uh, Claro. So I don't know what is the problem with oh. them, but uh, I'm connected through my mobile data. So that's why it would be quite difficult for me to attend the whole activities in the class. Okay, okay, got it. That's a shame, yeah. Uh, floor? I'm here, teacher. Francisco? Present, teacher. Then we have Laura. Harvin? Present, teacher. Jennifer? Juan Jose, Karen. Present. Maritza. Present. Nice, Merlin is not here. We continue with Miguel. Rolando. Ruth. I'm here. Suleyma. I'm here, teacher. Janari. I'm here, teacher. I'm driving. Okay. Uh, drive safely, please. Jackie. Thanks. Present. Blanca. Oh, Present. Gosh. And Freddy's. What was that? <laughs> that was not BTS. Freddy's, are you there? Okay, okay. I think Blanca is doing karaoke right now. <laughs> now we're going to get started now that I think about it. It's been a long time since I went to a karaoke. I'm not a good singer, but I if I have karaoke. to sing, I sing. <laughs> okay. Yeah, me too. Sing teacher. <laughs> Yeah, okay. no, no, you don't want that. It's traumatizing. Students have nightmares after they listen to me singing. Yeah, but even though we want to hear you. <laughs> one you day, one sing. day. You have to sing kind of me. 
Count on me. Oh, I love that one. that song by Brother Mars. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Okay, so we're going to move on. Let me check the chat. Uh, very sick with the flu. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, so some people are sick. Some others are uh, working. Okay, we're still having problems on a Tuesday, but God willing, we're going to be good later on. Uh, um, so let me share the screen with you. Where is it? Here. In the meantime, I'm going to share one link through the chat. That's the topic that we're going to be discussing today. Okay, so uh, we're, let me check it out here. Okay, Rolando, can you hear me? Apparently, no. Okay, so as you remember, uh, yesterday we were taking a look at uh, some vocabulary, okay? Uh, we were asking for uh, some questions. Let me check, I'm going to go back here. Oh, that was a picture, by the way. <laughs> Uh, so one of the things that we were doing, uh, as I was telling you, right, this is the, the example that, that I gave uh, for explaining the third conditional or the perfect tenses, right? Uh, so I mentioned that something that you have to remember is that we have two classes or two sentences that we connect. The condition that is using if and the result that is using would or could. About the tense that we use, we can summarize it that the condition is with the past perfect, that is had plus the past participle. And uh, wait, what happened? And the, wait a second. And the result class, in the result plus, uh, we use have plus the past participle. That would be the present perfect. So you don't have to remember present perfect, past perfect. You just have to remember the, the structure, right? How we use it in, in context. So for the if, we use had plus the verb in the third form. And for the result, we use have plus the verb in the third form. And what is the third form? We mentioned some examples, swim, swam, swum, forget, forgot, forgotten, uh, do, did, done, go, went, gone, make, made, made, buy, bought, bought, read, 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 set, 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 cut, 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 hit, hit, hit. I share the link on the WhatsApp group, right, where you have the list of the most common irregular verbs with the conjugation, and they are classified by groups, okay? So that is an extra uh, information or piece of information that I share with you. Now, uh, besides this, we had the, uh, well, the explanation there. We talk about how often do you, right? Uh, we have different questions and the topic was review and practice. Okay, so we discussed about this, right? Uh, and also some questions about the communication and the, how it can affect the financial aspect. And we had a reading. The reading uh, was about the surveillance that is observing the employees work through cameras, okay? Through technology, through computers. So, um, and you express your opinion about that. Okay, we answered the six questions that you see there. Um, so, right now, okay, as I told you that we we're going to practice this reading, I am going to send you to the breakout rooms and 
individually, you are going to read this text. Okay. Um, later, I'm going to send you the link for the discussion that is next. But right now, we're going to start by reading out loud. For the people that were not present, I'm going to read it quickly, okay? So just pay attention, take notes about the pronunciation. If you have questions, you can ask me at any moment of the class, you know that. Okay, so the reading goes like this. Most of the, pub of the public discussion of surveillance te technology and its use revolves around the question. Is it spooky or reassuring? Spooky is like, um, a little frightening, right? That people feel intimidated or afraid or reassuring, right? That people have more confidence, they feel more secure or I don't know, protected. But a different issue is the effect of surveillance issue. on the issue, uh -huh, issue. Uh, is the effect of surveillance on behavior. And a new research paper shows in detail how significant the surveillance effect can be. The researchers measured uh, the impact of software that monitors employee level theft and sales transactions before and after the technology was installed at 392 restaurants in 39 states. Employee theft and fraud is a big problem. Estimated at up to $200 billion a year across the economy. Most of the restaurant industry pays its servers low wages and they depend on tips. Employee replacement uh, is high. In that environment, a certain amount of theft has long been regarded as a normal part of the business. A simple Example is a bartender not charging for a round of drinks and urging the customers to take care of me with a large tip. Our tactics are more elaborate. But monitoring software is now available to track all transactions and detect suspicious patterns. After the installation of monitoring software, income per restaurant in increased by an average of $2,982 a week. Knowing they were being monitored, the servers not only pulled back on, an unethical practice, on any unethical practices, but also channeled their efforts into, say, prompting customers to have that dessert or a second beer. So it's a little bit long, it's a little bit difficult, okay? But it is really important that you uh, practice this kind of exercise in order to improve your pronunciation and fluency when you're reading. Because the way that you read is going to become the way that you speak probably, okay? So if you learn to read in a very fluent pace or speed, when you speak, it's going to be similar, right? So this can help you to your speaking. Uh, any questions or comments before you go to the breakout rooms? Yes, no. No. Francisco, go ahead. Uh, what is the correct pronunciation for the Surveillance. Surveillance. Ah, so that yeah, that would be surveillance. Surveillance. So it's a V. Surveillance. Uh, it's a V, right? The sound. The sound V. Surveillance. Uh, surveillance. Okay. okay. Another one. No any. Don't forget to download the dictionary that I share with you, okay? That dictionary, you can use it even without internet connection and you can listen to the pronunciation, read the definition, read examples, translation, the different meanings, right? That the word has. Uh, so that can help you a lot. Uh, so no more questions about pronunciation? Okay, 
So just pay attention, right? There are some keywords here. So one of them is surveillance, that's as I was telling you. Spooky would be another one. Uh, reassuring, behavior, uh, measure, measure, researchers, okay? Because in pronunciation, we also include stress, okay? Stress, don't forget about the stress. Stress is, for example, instead of saying surveillance, you say surveillance or surveillance, no. The stress is where you put the, 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 the strongest sound, right, in the word, in the syllable where you place the, the sound, the strongest one. So uh, surveillance, right, is in the second syllable, they. Uh, then we have fraud, fraude, right, fraud. Uh, wages, wages, that's another word, wages. Uh, that's the syn a synonym for salary, wages here, wages, this one. wages. Uh, replacement, that's another word, replacement, environment, environment, uh -huh, correct, you have the sound N in the middle, environment, mm -hmm. uh, regarded, okay, regarded, uh, we have another one, charging, urgent, right? Urgent, urgent, uh, okay. elaborate, that's okay. Monitoring, available. Uh, some people get confused with this word. It's not available, right? It's available. Uh, suspicious, it's not suspicious, it's suspicious. Suspicious. Okay, patterns. Somebody asked me this question yesterday. Patterns. Parents. Patterns. Uh, mm -hmm. Installation, monitoring, income. It's not income, it's income. So the stress is on the first syllable, right? Income. Mm -hmm. uh, increased, right? The stress is on the last syllable. Increased. Increased. Average. Average. So that, that's another word that can be a little bit tricky. A average and then unethical, unethical, ethical. So the th sound goes in the middle, right? The theta sound. Unethical practices, efforts is not effort or effort is effort. A, don't forget about dessert, it's not desert. And that's it. Okay, so uh, I am going to send you to the breakout rooms right now. Let me check the chat. I think somebody's writing. Wages, yeah, wages. That's, that's mm -hmm. the pronunciation. That's correct. So ready, set, and let me check if the groups are complete. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, and three. One, two, and three. Perfect. So here we go. Let me just check this out here. Okay, as a limitation for this, you will have five minutes, maximum six. So please, one by one, read the text, and then we're coming back to the session. Okay, um, let me check. Brenda, Rolando, Suleyma, Janati, and Elizabeth, as a limitation. Hey, Jennifer, welcome. I'm going to send you to the breakout room. Number one, let me check. Number one, two, yes, number one. 
10th floor, you are going to the room number four, five. Five. Perfect. I said the invitation, please. Hello, hello. Okay. Hi, ladies. Hi. Hi. You got the text? Uh, I think so. Ruth is looking for it. Okay, so that's that's on page number thirty-two, if I'm not mistaken, or thirty-one. Let me check. Oh, okay, you got it. Yeah, I can see it now. So, if you want, you can start. You're the volunteer, okay. right? Me, <laughs> okay, okay. With a large other tactics are more elaborate, but monitoring software is now available to track all transactions and detect suspicious pattern, patterns. Patterns. After, patterns. Patterns. Yeah. After the installation of the monitor, surveillance technology and issues resolve around the question. It is a spoken, spooking, or, spooking, or, or reassuring. reassuring. That's but correct. a different, but a different issue is the effect of surveillance on behavior. Surveillance, surveillance, surveillance on behavior, surveillance on behavior. Behavior. Right and a newish research paper shows a detail how significant the surveillance is. How. Significant and surveillance effect can be. The researchers measured the impact of software that monitors employed levels, diff and stage transactions before and after the technology was installed at 392 restaurants in 39 states. Employees, the thief and fraud is a big problem, estimated at up to 100 billion. <laughs> it's hard for me to say numbers because I want to say it in, in Spanish. <laughs> Sorry. A year across the economy. Most of the restaurant industry pays its serves, its servers low wages and they depend on tips. Employee replacement is high. In that environment, a certain amount of tip has long been regarded as a normal part of the business. Environment. Mm -hmm. Environment. Uh, yeah. Okay. Environment. Okay. A simple example is a bartender not charging for a round of drinks and urging 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 the customer to two hundred billion dollars a year across the economy most of the restaurant industry pays its servers low wages and they low wages on Low wages. Wages. Uh -huh. wages. 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 And they depend on tips. Wages. Employees. Now when they were being monitored, monitored, the servers not only pull back on any unethical practices, but also changed their effort into 
say prompting customers to, to have that dessert or a second beer. There you go. Okay. Um, okay, it's my turn. Most of the public discussion. Freud is a big problem. Estimate up out to uh, 2,000 billion a year across the company. Most of the restaurant industry pays is several long wages. 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 And they depend on tips. It's tip. 200, 200 billion dollars, not 2,000. <laughs> oh, yes, 200 billion dollars. Sorry. Uh, employees rep represent is high in that um, environment. Mm -hmm. uh, Empl employee replacement. Replacement. Employee? Replacement. Our uh, replacement yeah. is a height in that environment. A certain amount of the death has long been a record there as normal part of the bus business. Business. Uh, 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 it's, it's only missing uh, Mariela after you, right? Or Mariela already no, Ana Mariela, Ana Mariela was, is the first. He was the first. Ah, okay. So you are the last one, Francisco. Yes. yes. Okay, perfect. Go ahead. The... Good, but I will try because I can hear well. I hope okay. you can. Yeah, we can Actually, hear you. But I can hear you well. I hear like... Ah, so the connect your connection is not that good, bro. Yeah, my connection mm -hmm. is poor. Yeah, but we can okay. hear you clearly, so you can read with no problem. Okay. Most of the public discussion on surveillance technology and its use results are on the question. Is it a spooky or history? But a different issue is the effect of surveillance of on behavior. Behavior, uh-huh. Behavior. The business. A simple example is bartender not charging for a round of drink and urging the customer to take care of me with a large tip. Other tactics are more elaborate, but monitoring software but a different issue is the effect of surveillance. On surveillance. Surveillance. Yeah, surveillance. surveillance. On behavior. And a new research paper shows in detail how significant this surveillance effect can be. The researchers measured the impact of software that monitors employee level death and self transaction before and after the technology was installed installed at 392 restaurants in 39 states i'm sorry i i am a little slow because i in the car and i own my phone employee okay. death and fraud is a big problem estimated at up to 200 billion a year across the economy. Most of the restaurant industry based servers low wages and they depend on tips. Employee replacement is high. In that environment, a certain amount of death has long been regarded as a normal part of the business. A simple example is a bartender not charging for a round of drinks and urging the customers to take care of me. 
with a large thing. Other tactics are more comfortable than the travel. But monitoring software is not available to track all transactions and test specific patterns. Software in some per restaurant increased by an average of $2,982 a week. Knowing they were being monitored, the servers not only pull back on any I don't know. <laughs> Any unethical practice, but also turn their efforts into pay profit customers to have that deserved or a second. Okay, we already read uh, the paragraph. Okay, excellent. So let me uh, call everybody back to the session. Hello? Yes. Okay, hold on, I got, for some reason I cannot see. the option. Okay, here it is. Wow, it's really, really, really hot here in Samuel. Is it hot in your cities, in your hometown? Yes, yes. Yeah, I don't know. I, the I don't know. <laughs> I the have temper. never been there, but I think it seems <laughs> it's probably worse than you can imagine. I'm not sure how to convert the weather into Celsius because I got it in uh, Fahrenheit, but in Fahrenheit it says that it's 82. but I think it's more than 82. Mm. So uh, we're going to, okay, everybody's back. We're going to move on. I'm going to share the screen with you. How was the activity? Uh, I would like to know, uh, you can use the reaction for a, if it is, if, if you think that it was something that can help you to improve uh, your pronunciation or your speaking skills or fluency, give me a reaction of a thumbs up or a heart. If you think that it can, it's something that you can uh, do more often to improve and to pay more attention to pronunciation, okay? So we have one, two, three, four. Four reactions, five, six, okay, six reactions, and seven. Okay, seven reactions to this, eight with Harvey. So we're going to move on, guys. Uh, as I was telling you, right, uh, that was part of yesterday's assignment. You had to practice a little bit more about reading aloud, but show must go on. And what we're going to do next is to match the vocabulary to the meanings. We have seven words here. We are going to complete one together and the rest you will do it by yourself. So let's do number one, surveillance, right? Surveillance. So what do you think is the, or which do you think is the definition for surveillance? The act, the act of watching someone. The oh. act of watching someone closely, closely, closely to, to detect, detect a, to detect a crime. crime. Yes, that is a correct definition. So we're going to write down the number one. It's not going to be beautiful, but number one. 
number one here. <laughs> okay. So you are going to match two, three, four, five, six, and seven. You can take a screenshot because you are going to discuss this with a partner. So it will be in purse. Uh, let me see. I'm going to send it quickly to the breakout rooms so you can complete this exercise. We are 18 right now. So I'm going to create, um, let's say, eight. Yeah, that would be enough. Uh, seven, eight. Okay, so Diana, Jackie, okay, floor root, uh, Blanca, Freddy's, okay, Mariela, Lisa, Harvey, Karen. Okay, perfect. So for this activity, you will have just three minutes, guys. It's something quickly that, I mean, something that you will do quickly. And all that you have to do is just to match, right? The vocabulary to the meaning. Okay, Floor, got it. So three minutes since the moment that you enter the breaker room, okay? Ready, set, and go. Excellent, Brenda. Hello, Ruth. Hi. <laughs> Hi. So what do you think are the answers for this uh, or the matches for this exercise? Mm. I think uh, okay. Okay. Rish 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 Reassuring, uh huh? Sure. Uh, is maybe to remove someone's doubts and fears. That's correct. Yes to remove someone's doubts and fears. So we're going to annotate that here. What about behavior? Behavior, maybe is the way someone acts. That's correct. So that would be number three, the way someone acts. A theft. The action or crime of stealing? 
stealing. That's correct. Yes, of stealing, right? Usually money, but you can steal other things. You can. Uh, so that would be number four. What about number five? Wage. It's a it's a word new for me. It's a new word for you. Uh huh. So wage is a synonym for salary. So the uh, okay is some not the amount of money paid to an employee. It's the amount of money paid to an employee. What about number six? Tip. Tip. To give a small amount of money to someone who has provided a service. Yeah, that would be a tip. And obviously the last one, spooky. Something that causes fear or nervousness. Nervousness is spooky. So let's check it out. Okay, perfect. With my beautiful numbers, we're done. <laughs> so the time is up. Excellent job. Nice. It was nice working with you. Yes, I can. <laughs> yeah, you're ready for the test. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay, let's call everybody else back to the session. See you there. See you. Okay, so I am going to ask one person from each group to share the answer, uh, to share one answer, okay? From the group number one, we have Diana and Jackie. What is the answer or what is the definition for reassure? Uh, to remove someone's doubts and fears. To remove someone's doubts or fear. Okay, uh, do you agree with uh, Diana and Jackie? You can use a reaction if you want. So somebody who gives me a thumbs up, saying that it was good. Excellent, let's go on with the group number two, Floor and Ruth. Well, in this case, Ruth, what is the meaning of behavior? Behavior is the way someone, someone acts. The way someone acts. Okay, excellent, thank you. Uh, let's continue with, don't forget about the reactions, right, for the volunteers that I am selecting. Uh, group number three, we have Brenda, wait, uh, Brenda, no, they have Brons to connect. That would be uh, Francisco or Jennifer. Theft. Okay, the is the action or crime of a stealing. Yeah, the action or crime of stealing. Wait a second, I hear, I hear a little girl playing. <laughs> That's cute. So I'm going to check. The little girl is gone, so we'll continue with the next volunteer. Thank you so much, Jennifer. Uh, Mariela, no, Blanca or Freddy's. What is the definition for the word number five? Wage. Wage. I will be the amount of money paid to an employee. That's right. So it's a synonym of salary, right? Excellent, thank you so much. Uh, Maritza or Mariela, 
What is a uh, number six? Tip. Tip. To give a small amount of money to someone who has provided a service. Who has provided a service. Provide a service. A service. That's right. A tip. Right. So this is common in restaurant, right? A tip or uh, I don't know any other service that can apply. Let's go on with the number seven. Room number seven, we had Harvin and Karen. What is the definition of spooky? This is the most difficult one. Spooky, something yeah. that causes fears or nervousness. Something that causes fear or nervousness. That's correct, spooky. Okay, so excellent reactions for all of you. I'm going to use it, ta-da, that's one of my favorite ones. So thank you so much, that's correct. So for pronunciation purposes, listen and repeat. Surveillance. 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 Okay, listen carefully, right? It's not sorbete, it's not <laughs> sorveleta, right? So it's surveillance. 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 Very good. Number two, reassure. 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 Right? Reassure. Uh, yeah. Uh, number three, behavior. 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 Okay. Behavior. 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 Right? The sound V. V. Uh, mm -hmm. Then we have theft. 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 Okay. Uh, well, this is this word became very popular with a video game, right? The what? What do you call it? GTA. I think it was GTA. Oh, I got the temperature. I got the, I got the the temperature. Uh, Samuel is twenty nine right now. Yeah, that is a sensation because supposedly like 26, but it feels like 29. So. In a Kahootla is 29. Okay. Theft. That would be the word. Uh, the sound of the TH in this case is like the theta, right? In Spanish, theft. Okay, then we have the number uh, mm -hmm. theft. Hi. Number five is wage. 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 Yeah, wage. Very good. Number six, wage. tip. That's an easy one. And number seven yeah. is spook spooky, right? Spooky. spooky. Yeah. It sounds it sounds really a, a good name for a dog, right? Or a cat. Hey, spooky, come here. Um, now we're going to move on. Uh, to the next one. It sounds like a cute name, but if it is a pit bull, for example, or a Rottweiler, it's not so cute. <laughs> okay, now we're going to continue with the uh, or lion. Wait, what happened? Ah, I need to eliminate this. Wait, I'm going to erase everything. Lord, please clear the drawings and. So this is basically what we had pending. So let's move on with personnel training vocabulary. So age and youth and old age. So we're going to be talking about some uh, differences or some questions related to the age. For example, uh, retirement, right? In, the, in many countries, retirement is five years older for men than for women. And it's the same in El Salvador, right? Uh, men can men can retire when they are 60 and women can retire when they are 55. I think that's the age, right? Um, so questions related to that, right? In El Salvador, in other countries, uh, somebody is considered an adult or over age uh, when you are 18, when you turn 18. But in the US, for example, when you are 18, you, you don't have permission to drink until you are 21. So there are differences, right? About ages. And you're going to express your opinion. But in the meantime, in the meantime, I'm going to share the link and take the attendance, okay? 
So let me share the link through the chat so everybody can have access to that. Okay, there you have it. And let's see. First person from the bottom of the list, Freddy. Are you there? Yes, I can see you now. Black yes, I'm here. I was opening in the link. I'm here. I'm here. Okay, Jackie. Jackie. Janari. What? I'm here, teacher. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, teacher. I was checking the, the link. Ah, okay, okay, got it. Suleima. Then we have uh, Ruth. I'm here. I'm here. Okay, Rolando, Miguel, uh, Maritza. I'm here, teacher. Excellent. Karen. I'm here. Very nice. Uh, well, Juan Jose is not here today. Jennifer. I'm here, teacher. Marvin. Present, teacher. Francisco. Present. Floor. I'm here. Diana, are you home, Floor? I'm here. Yes, I, okay. I just arrived. In. Okay, excellent. Uh, Brenda? I'm here. Still there, good. So the connection yes. is working a little bit. <laughs> okay, let's continue with Mariela. I'm here. And Elizabeth. Okay. I'm here. Thank you so much. So let's move on, ladies and gentlemen, to the conversation. So I'm going to create the breakout rooms. You're going to go in groups now. Okay, so there will be just six. Um, that will be five better. So we're going to have group number one is complete. Group number two, yes, number three. Good, number four, one, two, three. Okay, we're missing someone here. So I'm going to move someone from the group number one to the room number four. And somebody from the room number two is going to one, two, three, one, two, and three. Okay, perfect. So we're ready to go in three, two, one. You have just four minutes. Ask as many questions as you can in four minutes, at least one question or two questions per person, okay? So choose the question that you like the most. There you go. Accept the invitation, please. Good. Excellent, Francisco, Flor, Elizabeth, Orlando, Suleyma, Brenda. Okay, are young people generally more more selfish than their parents and grandparents? Not necessary. No. Okay, Jackie and Jennifer, are you there? Yes, I'm here. I'm here, teacher. Because I am trying to share the link, but I can't do it. I um, will do it if you want. Okay, yes. Thank you, Jennifer. Okay. You don't have to share it. You can just start asking each other questions because you have the link. So if it's possible. Oh, right? Okay. Yeah. Exactly. Thank you. Okay, Jennifer. Okay. 
Let's start, let me... And it's no matter uh, the other problems. Maybe when we are children. Yeah. When we're children, we're just thinking about play. Yeah, about playing and watching TV. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just play. <laughs> so let me see. Should adults try to teach young people lessons such as the dangers, the dangers of drink too much, taking drugs, or catch the AIDS virus, or should they leave them alone to find out about these things themselves? What do you think? That's a very serious question. What? Do you think adults should teach the young people a lesson such as danger, the danger of drinking too much, or to, the danger of taking drugs, or the I want to live in my house where I live right now with the people that I live right now because I feel so good. I feel I feel great with them and I enjoy every single moment that I spend with them. It's your family. Yes, it's my family because I live with my wife, with my daughter and with my mom. So this is the, is the person that I need in my life. What about you? What do you think? With my family too. And my pet. I, and your pet? I hope, I hope in the future be the crazy lady cat or something. Okay. Other question? Let me check. Other question. What, a, what advice could you give to an older person who wants to feel young? It's a good question. What advice? What question? What advice would you give an old person who wants to feel young? Mm -hmm. Well, I think there is no age for do the the things what we can we want to do. But I think everybody must be feel good with the age that they have, and not try to live something that is not exist anymore. Okay, all oh, oh, I think, teacher, if you happen sometimes when you are doing and you save in your mind, I am so old. I don't know if it happened in your life, but <laughs> sometimes I feel like that because when I was a young, I was so wild. I was, I don't know, I was crazy. I have a, a crazy, a crazy life so right now i think when when i don't want to do something and i prefer to be in my home i say what happened to me i am feel so so old so i think i never like feel like that but i prefer to do that activity to and feel me uh, old that do the another activity another activity and feel so young i don't know yeah, you change your priorities, yes. your mentality, that's right. Yes. We have one more minute, guys. Okay, let me check another question.
<laughs> Where do you see yourself when you are 70 years old? Way for younger workers. In order to make way for young, I, I don't think so. Um, In other things, uh, the dangers of alcohol, drugs, and everything, uh, the good. I have a, my own. Okay, how are you? Um, 29. Ah, 29, okay. It's a good age. And for you, teacher, what is the best age to have, to be? Best age to be? Um, How old are you? I'm 33. I think that <laughs> the best age is when you feel accomplished. When you feel accomplished, that you can enjoy your life without, I'm, I don't know, without thinking too much about doing things that you like and you can just live every day in the best way that you can. So I think that's, a be that's the best age when you feel good with the life you have. <laughs> I don't Do know. Do you feel like that right now? I feel like that many days, not always, but yeah, I feel, I feel <laughs> yes, that after the, after the thirties, I, I feel better in many aspects than when I was in my twenties. Yes. So I think that from the 30s to the 40s, I, from 30 to 40, it, it's probably the best decade in which you can do a lot of things. I think. After the use, you miss the, the energy just like that. You miss the energy. You don't. Yes. I think the energy you lose depending on the life you have because there are ups and downs, but but if you keep active, an active lifestyle and you have a lot of things to motivate you or that motivate you, uh, you don't lose the energy. Maybe some days, but not frequently, right? Not every day. But after 50, but you, I, but you, after I, the, I think that is it's probably like after that, the, after 50 or 40. Uh -huh. After the 30, you have to, to, to leave the eight, the eight hours. If you do that, you feel down, you feel bad. When you yeah. are young, no. We do yeah. Have yeah, true. It, it depends. Yeah, but yeah, it's it's true. There are things that change. I have 33, but I feel I things like that. <laughs> you are 33 like me. Wow, but you look younger than me. Yes. Uh huh. <laughs> yeah, okay. and Mariela looks less than 29. I thought she was 25 or yes. something like that. Uh huh. So, yeah, it's, I think you thought that I was 22. So, you see, it depends, right? Everybody's, <laughs> everybody's lifestyle and yeah, and mentality also yes. uh, influences. Okay, so the question is. Who feels older after this conversation? <laughs> mm. No one. I'm in, okay. a, I'm in a middle age, I think. Middle age? Yeah. I'm still a child. <laughs> Maybe it's not like I feel old, but I feel a little bit mature, so. More mature. Yeah. Uh-huh, exactly. So yeah, we were discussing that with Harvin and Mariela, right? That it's, what is the best age, right? Uh, but it depends, it depends, right? For some people it's the twenties, for other people it's the thirties, for other people it's the forties. It's, <laughs> it's, it depends, it depends. Uh, yeah. The moment. Some people say that men never grow up. They just get bigger. Do you agree? <laughs> okay. That's a question that Ruth is asking. What do you think, boys? We never grow. We just get bigger. Maybe. Could be. Maybe someone. This applies for men, I think. 
<laughs> Sorry. <laughs> well, they say that women mature, uh, to, well, are mature two years. Five, five or years. Some people say five. Uh huh. Yeah, five. Yeah, but I it's an average. Years, teacher. Two to I five. I have read that. You have read that? Okay, so. Yeah, five years. Well, I think that it was an interesting que uh, question or topic. Uh, I don't know if you have the same opinion. The women are best. Women are the best. Yes. <laughs> yes. I don't know what the world would be like without women. So, yes. Thank you, ladies. <laughs> <laughs> and something that is very peculiar or particular in this group is that uh, you, the, I, I would say that all of you look younger than your real age. And that is something that caught my attention because I didn't believe that Harvin was my age, for example. I, I, I look and I, I don't know, I look older than him. And then Mariela, the same thing, right? She said that she's 20. Maybe because of the beer. Maybe because of the beer. I don't oh, drink beer. No. Ah, ah okay, the beer. You drink a lot of <laughs> Okay, I'm just kidding. Yeah, I, I, I got the idea, the beard. Yeah. Um, yeah, and then Mariela said that she was 29. I was like, no, but she looks like 25. And then Harvey said, no, she looks like 22. So, yeah, the same for many people that I was listening to, right? In the breakout rooms, I'm like, what? No way. But in the end, as they say, right, the age is not a physical characteristic, it's an internal one. All right, because I know people who are 17 and they feel tired and they don't want to continue living and life is so difficult. And people who are, I don't know, 40 and they're full of energy. My mom is 60 and she's more energetic than my, my sister probably or my brother. <laughs> uh -huh. So I don't know. It's sometimes I feel tired on the weekend and she's going everywhere, working, doing housework. I'm like, she's like Robotina, right? And I'm like, I don't know how, how what kind of generation is this, how they made this generation, right? Uh, but yeah, it's, it's a matter of uh, lifestyle, mentality, personality, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So age is something, um, let's say, what will be the word? Relative. Just a number. It's something relative, right? As Albert Einstein said, <laughs> uh, the theory of relativity. I think that we're going to move on because of time. Uh, bon appetit. Somebody was having a delicious donut there, Freddy's. <laughs> so uh, we're going to move on to the next part of the class. Surprise, surprise. What do you think it is? Again. Okay game Olivia is it yes we're missing that we're missing that since Thursday okay so yes we're going to have the a quick trivia uh this is going to be a little bit different as I told you I'm going to ask everybody a different question so no breakout rooms no teams it's just a question for everybody so the first volunteer will be the first person in the list here Karen thank you <laughs> well, I think I'm going to start with the people that have the cameras off. Uh -huh. So, Brenda. Yanari. Yanari. Jennifer. Hi, teacher. I'm here. I'm ready. Okay. So, um, what was the uh, Britney Spears' first song. What was Britney Spears' first song? I'm going to give you three Being options. Honest. Oh. I'm going to give you three options or two. In some cases, I'm going to give you two because probably I don't know too much. So I'm going to invent the options, but one is correct. So number one is, oops, I did it again. Two is baby one more time. And three is sometimes. Uh, being honest, I don't know the answer. I just know that yes. 
You have to guess. <laughs> Baby, one more time. Was the Baby, first one piece. more time. Was yes, the first that's piece. correct. Okay, class for her, please. Reactions. Yay. Okay, good. Let's continue. Next person in the list with no camera on. Floor. Hi, Peter. What? Well, let me check. What language has the most vocabulary words? What language has the most vocabulary word? Number one, or option A, English. B, Spanish. C, German. English, Spanish, Spanish or think. German? Spanish? Spanish. Uh -huh. Oh, the correct answer was <laughs> English. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. The thing is that the majority of the words are created in English nowadays, especially the scientific ones or the technological ones, they create them in English. So, and then they translate it to different languages. So, um, because of science and technology, English is the one that has the largest amount of words. They continue inventing, inventing, inventing words. Um, and in Spanish, not too much. So that's the reason why. So reaction, and we're going to use, uh, I don't know, a surprise face, like, oh. Okay, so next one, person with no camera on, Elizabeth. Are you there? No, let's check. Uh, Brenda? Yes, teacher. Okay. So the question is, how long does it take to hard boil an egg? How long does it take to hard boil an egg? Okay, option A, three minutes. Option B, five minutes. Option C, seven minutes. Three, two, one. Time's up. Brenda? Three minutes, five minutes, or seven minutes? Um, three minutes. No, the correct answer is seven minutes. Of course, if it is a normal temperature. Uh, but if you set the high temperature, it will be less time. Okay, let's go on. The next person is Harbin. Okay. Okay. What is the lar the world's largest ocean? The world's largest ocean. A, the Pacific. B, the Atlantic. C, the Indian. I think the Atlantic. Are you sure? I think. No, the correct answer <laughs> is the Pacific Ocean. Okay, not okay. so Pacific, but yes, that's a correct answer. So next one is Ruth. Okay. Ready? Okay. How many faces of the moon, how many faces of the moon are there? How many faces of the moon? Have you seen the moon has different shapes? So every shape is a face. Um, so how many faces? Option A, don't Google. Option A, five. Option B, three. Option C, eight. Five, three, or eight. I don't know. <laughs> yes. Three, maybe. No, oh, the correct answer is eight. Eight different faces of the moon. That's a lot. I love the moon, by the way. I am a moon lover. So we continue with it. I can show you the pictures if you want. Uh, let me check. Yes, teacher, please. 
<laughs> okay, I will send it to you. I took one like three days ago. Uh, Mariela. Yes. Okay, uh, which country invented the tea? Tea, the tea, like uh, chamomile tea or chai tea or green tea, black tea, white tea? Option A, India. Option B, China. Option C, England. China, India, or England? China. Are you sure? No. <laughs> That's correct, it's China. Okay, good. Don't forget about the reactions, motivation, right? Okay, next one is Diana. Okay. Which is the highest, the highest waterfall in the world? Okay, option A, Angel Falls in Venezuela. Option B, Niagara Falls in, between the US and Canada. Option C, the falls in between Zimbabwe and I think it's another country in, in Zambia. Uh, like in the movie? Oh, no. <laughs> El Salto del Angel? Angel Falls in Venezuela. That's correct. That is the highest oh. waterfall in the world. Yes. Excellent, Jackie. <laughs> You see, you never know when the movies can give you important information. Okay, Jackie, the question for you is, what is the, the other name given to, no, I'm going to change the question. Who painted La Gioconda? Who painted La Gioconda? Option A, Michelangelo. Option B, Da Vinci, option C, Van Gogh. I don't know, but um, to tell you something, maybe um, Da Vinci. <laughs> Correct. The La, Yoconda, La Yoconda is the other name that people give to the Mona Lisa. So it's the same. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh -huh. Okay, next one, Maritza. Which country, I love this question, which country produces the most coffee in the world? The most coffee in the world. Option A, El Salvador. Option B, Brazil. Option C, Bolivia. Wow. Brazil. Are you sure? No, but... <laughs> That's correct. Brazil is a country that produces the most coffee in the world. Okay, excellent. Class for her. Francisco, question. Okay. Who won? Question? Who won? This is a very easy question. Who won the Nobel Prize in Physics? In 1921. Easy 1921. question. Yeah. Oh. Option option oh A. God. Option A. Albert Einstein. Option B. Mary Curie. Option Option C. Charles Darwin. What is the date? 1921. That's a year. The Nobel Prize in Physics. Einstein, uh, Albert Einstein, Einstein is, is, is the only Mary Curry, uh, Mary Curry or uh, Charles Darwin. Albert Einstein. Yes, that's correct. It's, it's, it's only men in in this year in this in this question. Actually, Mary Curry won that prize, but later. I think it was later or before. I'm not sure, but Mary Curie is the it only woman. Later, who, the chemist. Later, right? The chemist. Yeah, the chemist. Uh huh. That's correct. So next one, Freddie. And she died because of that. 
Yeah, because of the radio. Um, Fredis, are you there? Yes, no? We are here. Fredis? Yes. Okay, yes. what is the hardest Marino. rock? What is the hardest rock? In the world, the hardest rock in the world. It's a diamond. That's right, it's a diamond. Okay, excellent. Uh, let's see who's next, Karen, right? An easy one, please. An easy one. Okay. Um, oh my goodness! Uh, let me check. If I don't, <laughs> if I don't see an easy one, I'm going to invent it. Okay. Um, okay. This is uh, an easy one for me. <laughs> um, do you like the series Friends? Yes. Okay, can you please mention five names, the, the names of, of five protagonists? The names of the, uh, of in the series or Yeah, the in the series, names? in the series. Rachel, Russ, uh -huh. Monica, Chandler, Phoebe. And the funniest one? Joey. Joey, Joey so you have Yami. six, that's correct, <laughs> excellent. Good, so. I've never watched Friends. Unforgivable. You need to watch it on vacations. Now, uh, we're going to move on. Is anybody missing? Did I skip anyone? Please tell me. No? Everybody answer? Good. So we're good to go. Excellent. Let's go on with the next one. So congratulations and reactions for everybody. That was... If you liked it, show a heart. Okay, good. So uh, that's a, that was a, the tree that we were missing from the last Thursday. Okay, a promise is a promise. And let me check. Okay, I'm going to resume sharing and we're going to go to writing. So what we're going to do for this uh, exercise or this activity right now, uh, we are going to start, but because of time, I am going to assign you this as an, as an assignment to complete by yourself at home, okay? So tomorrow in class, you're going to share with your classmates what you wrote, okay? So the assignment is you're going to write a 10-line paragraph to say whether you are in favor or against employee surveillance at your workplace. State or mention at least three reasons to support your position, okay? So minimum three reasons why you say that you agree or disagree about employee surveillance at the workplace. So you're going to write a little paragraph, okay? Paragraph expressing your opinion. La vigilancia en el trabajo. Okay. Um, and mention reasons. Okay. So that is your assignment for tomorrow. In the breakout rooms, you are going to read your paragraph to your classmates. And I'm going to select some volunteers to share in class. It's so homework. it's homework. That's correct. Okay. So you take your time, you drink some coffee or milk or chocolate. Right? And then you get inspiration. No Google Translate, please. You can use translator or dictionaries for vocabulary, but not to write everything in Spanish, copy paste. I finished my essay or my paragraph now. Okay? Remember that you have to develop the ability. Okay? You have to learn how to do it in English. Because if you use a translator, you don't learn. It's... Uh, it's not learning. It's like if I ask you to look for, uh, I don't know, to make a presentation and you just copy and paste from Wikipedia, right? That's not learning. You need to create your things. 
So that's your assignment. We'll continue with the next practice. So right now we are going to discuss a couple of questions. Question number one, uh, Floor. Yes, teacher. Okay. Um, how do you identify the areas of opportunities that require personal training? Personal, personal training. Personnel training, okay. And the question number two, Maritza. Are there a lot of training opportunities in your workplace? Okay, so you're going to express your opinion, right? How do you identify the areas of opportunities that require personnel trainer training? And the question number two, are there a lot of training opportunities in your in the place where you work? Yes, no, mention what uh, training opportunities you have, right? So that's what you're going to discuss. You can take a screenshot of the questions and you will be in the breakout rooms with the same group that you were in the previous exercise uh, discussing your opinion, okay, about these two questions. Uh, so, for example, when we talk about identifying areas of opportunities, I work in a teaching, right, in an education area. Uh, something that I can identify, for example, uh, how I can identify the areas of opportunities for training is uh, if I go to the classes, to the classrooms and see my coworkers, right? And I see that, for example, that how my computer, my, my coworkers use technology to teach. If I see that they don't use internet, they don't use applications or websites, I make a little observation like, okay, so this is a tr an opportunity for training how to use internet or how to use technology to teach, right? Or to evaluate the students because maybe the, the teachers use the traditional method. So that's one way that I can identify by observing my, my coworkers' classes, okay? So just to give an example, right? Ready, set, and you have just Three minutes, maximum four, to discuss these questions. Ready, set, go. Teacher, I think that I I cancel the the invitation. invitation. Can you send me again, please? Okay, okay, hold on. Run two. Okay, room two, got it. Okay, Ruth, Denari, Brenda, so the invitation. Freddy's, you're alone, right? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what happened. I don't know what happened with. Okay, Yanari is here. <laughs> Excellent. Yanari, can you hear me? Yes, teacher, I can hear you, uh, but I have problem with my internet. Oh, that's a problem. That's an issue. So we have to read and practice the conversation, right? Yeah. No. Read and, and answer the questions. Okay, Alex and Size read. One. Now, you're going to answer the questions. How do you identify the areas of opportunities that require personal training? And question number two, are there a lot of training opportunities in your workplace? Wow, dang. How to identify the areas of opportunities that you have to you uh, work without the technology. So maybe seeing, 
thing and and identify that thing. Watching the okay watching. by observing okay or watching yeah. Observing. yeah. What about you, yes. Mariela? Uh -huh. What do you think? I don't know. Maybe monitoring the some needs in 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 some office, for example, uh, in my in my in my company, we were yeah. um, we were every every week. Uh, with uh, air conditioner broken. Oh my God. So we send uh, close to 10 people to 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 a course on how to how to repair air conditioner and give a maintenance and now they they fix that problem. That's that's great because you don't depend of other people to repair the the air conditioner air. Yes, but this is uh, only like a first aid because they are not. All right, Freddy. So, uh, how many or let's say, do you have a a lot of training opportunities in your workplace? Actually, no. <laughs> we, don't have, we don't have training opportunities in my workplace. And why why do you think that, that happens? I don't know, because I think when they hire me, they say, you have to know how to do this, your job, or you have to know how to do your job. <laughs> so there's... So I didn't have no opportunities in my workplace. Okay, got it. And the first question, how do I identify the areas of opportunity that require personal training? Mm -hmm. I think if, if I was a new person, and I, I didn't know how to fix broken pipes, that would be an opportunity to require personal training. True. Yeah, another way could be like when there is something new, right? Uh, for example, in your case, uh, there's a new machine, right? Uh, and you don't know how to use it. That's an opportunity, right? To train the personnel yeah. uh -huh. how to use uh the panel controls uh -huh. or probably new products that you need to know what is the, the amount that you need to use or the combination or the yeah. application uh-huh yeah that happened so in like where i worked before in disagro we used to make the the what was called soma we mix car and um, what was the other thing? Uh, actually, I don't know the word for melasa in English. Mm, me neither. <laughs> we have to so, look it up. Yeah, so we have, we have to mix all things to make the, the soma. Okay. Uh, so it was maybe we mixed it with the with the other with the other stuff like excellent. So we're ready to move on. Uh, okay, where's Freddy's? He was he was in a conversation with me. Freddy's, Freddy's, Freddy's coming soon. Hopefully. <laughs> okay, so I don't know why, but I feel that when we come back from the breakout rooms, like we enter a new, another space, right? And I'm waiting to see if everybody's coming back. 
like we are in the limbo. So we're going to uh, practice a conversation uh, that appears here about the questions. Uh, who answered yes to the question number two? Are there a lot of opportunities, uh, training opportunities in your workplace? Who answered yes? You can raise your hand or use a reaction to have an idea about who is receiving training, okay, or opportunities. Diana, we Karen. had a lot of opportunities, but we're not receiving the training. Okay, okay. Because of time? Because of the manager. People. <laughs> okay, because of people, let's say. Um, so, definitely, a uh, Trainings are necessary in any workplace, in any area that we are uh, working on, because that's the way that we stay on top, right, of the new things. And it's also an incentive or like a motivation for people to have something new to learn, right? So I think that it would be good that all the companies thought about that, about giving training opportunities to their personnel. But anyways, if they don't give you opportunities, you can look for them. Nowadays that everything is online and we have a lot of free opportunities, right? Like this one right here. Uh, a lot of people don't, I mean, want to learn English, but they don't have the possibility to do it because they don't have the money. But for you, right, as workers, you don't have to pay for that. You can learn for free here. So all you need is motivation and a little bit of time, right? and dedication to what you're doing. So uh, we're finishing the module number one, right, of the intermediate level. So that's a, a big achievement for you. We're getting closer to the advanced one. So, uh, and I feel, I don't know if you feel the same, but I feel that we're getting to know or to understand each other more in English, uh, learning new vocabulary, uh, understanding more when you're listening to something or when you're reading something or when you're listening to me or I am explaining you something, I have the feeling that you understand more because uh, at the beginning it's adaptation, right? To a new teacher, or a new uh, way of speaking the language. Maybe uh, some teachers speak faster, some teachers speak in a different way. So, uh, that's what you get, right, from these kind of opportunities. So, let's move on. Uh, we're going to read and practice the conversation, okay? We, it's between Alex and Rick. Just listen and try to repeat for yourself, okay, for yourself. The dishwasher I hired a month ago wants to know how to get promoted. The dishwasher I hired a month ago wants to know how to get promoted. He asked me about training opportunities. He asked me about training opportunities. Oh, very good. You see, I want to schedule a service training for next month. You see, I want to schedule a service training for next month and one for cashiers and one for cashiers. Performance this month was not so good. Performance this month was not so good. Some customers complain about having to wait for too long. Some customers complain about having to wait for too long. Yes, I think servers need a good training. Yes, I think servers need a good training. Training. Let's identify their skills and knowledge. Let's identify their skills and knowledge so we can include everything they need in the training. So we can include everything they need in the training. Let's do that. Let's do that. And don't forget, we have to evaluate the servers after the trainer training. And don't forget, we have to evaluate the servers after the training. So that's what you're going to practice. You are going to have three minutes, maximum four, to practice with one person. So now you're going to practice in purse, okay? Uh, just to make sure that everything is clear, I would like to have one volunteer. See the play? 
can be two, okay? One volunteer to practice with me or two volunteers to practice between themselves. So we have Blanca and no more. So Blanca, you practice with, ah, and Jennifer, perfect. So Blanca, Jennifer, Blanca, you're Alex, Jennifer, you are Rick. Ready, set, and go. The dishwasher I hired a month ago wants to know how to get promoted. He asked me to, he asked me about training opportunities. Uh, very good, you see, I want to schedule a server training for next month. And one for cashier's performance this month wasn't so good. Some customer complained about having to wait for too long. Yes, I think servers need a good training. Let's identify their skills and knowledge so we can include everything they need in the training. Let's do that. And don't forget we have to evaluate the servers after the training. Evaluate, okay, evaluate. Very good, excellent. Thank you so much. Reactions for them, please. And now you're going to break our rooms really quickly just to practice conversation and then we come back and finish the class. So uh, ready, set, and go. Please accept the invitation and practice with your partner. Check. One, two, three. Brandon. Hello. I am alone again. <laughs> no, you're not. I'm here. So let's yeah. start the conversation. Okay, I'm going to be. Uh, this washer I hired a month ago wants to know how to get promoted. He asked me about training opportunities. Ah, very good. You see, I want to schedule a server training to next month and one for cashiers. Cashiers? Cashiers. Performance, cashiers. Performance this month was not so good. Some customer complained about having to wait for too long. Yes, I think servers need a good trainer. Let, training. Let's identify their skills and knowledge so we can include everything they need in the training. Let's do that. And don't forget, we have to evaluate the servers after the training. Okay, so that will be the first one. And now you start. Okay. The dishwashers I hired a month ago wants to know how to get promoted. He asked me about training opportunities. Okay, he asked me about training opportunities. Let me just check that everybody's here. Uh-huh, for some reason, Ruth joined another room. Okay. Uh, so I'm going to go on with the next one. You are Rick. Yeah, I'm Rick. Oh, very good. You see, I want to schedule a server training for next month and one for cashiers. Performance this month was not so good. Some people, some customers complain about having to wait for too long. Yes, I think servers need a good training. Let's identify their skills and knowledge so we can include everything they need in the training. As to that, and don't forget, we have to evaluate the servers after the training. Okay, okay. Yeah, okay. thank you so much. Yeah, thank you. That was so fast. We need more time, teacher. Fast and furious, fast yeah. and furious. That's so short, teacher. Uh -huh. Okay, so uh, who didn't finish the conversation? Two 
continue finish the conversation. Francisco. Okay, Jennifer, however, Jennifer had the opportunity to practice uh, with Blanca, right? So, uh, Harbin and Francisco. So, let's listen to you guys as I'm going to start checking the attendance. Uh, Francisco, Harbin, Francisco, you start the conversation and Harbin can continue. Okay, one, two, and three. Francisco. He said we can't sorry, see your screen. Uh, you can't see my screen. Right now, yes. Right now, yes. Okay. Yes, I can see. Okay. The, the virtual workshops I tailored a month ago want to know how to get promoted. 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 He asked me about training opportunities. Ah, very good. You see, I want to schedule a service training for the next month and one for cashier. Performance this month was not so good. Some customer complained about having to wait to, for too long. Yes, I think uh, servers need a good training. Let us identify their skills, skills, um, knowledge, 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 so we can include everything they need in the training. Let's do that, and don't forget we have to evaluate the service after the training. Evaluate. Okay, excellent. Thank you so much, gentlemen. I'm going to use the claps. And uh, well, I think it didn't work. And quickly, I'm just going to uh, remind you, right? You need to uh, write down the, the paragraph ex expressing if you are in favor or against uh, employee surveillance, right, at the work. And quickly, the first person that I see here is, well, Beatriz uh, asked for permission. Or, well, she can, she couldn't make it uh, for any possible way. So Elizabeth, Mariela. I am here. Brenda. Diana. Present. Floor. I'm here, teacher. Francisco. Present, teacher. Laura. Present, teacher. Okay, Harvin. Present. Then we have... Uh, Jennifer, present. <laughs> yeah, okay. Harvin, Jennifer, uh, Karen. Present. Then Rolando, Ruth. I'm here. Okay, Yanari. Jackie. Teacher, I'm here. I'm here, teacher. Okay, Blanca. I'm here. And Freddy. I'm here, I'm here. I'm here, teacher. Okay, okay, perfect. So, guys. Uh, teacher, I'm right here. I didn't mention your name. Wait, Karen? Ah, no. oh, after Karen is Maritza, yeah. Okay, thank you, Maritza, sorry. Okay, uh, let me check uh, something out. Let me check it out. So guys, according to the date, or that would be Brenda's turn, but I don't know if Brenda is still connected. I don't see, okay, now Brenda is here. Brenda, can you hear me? Uh, yeah. it's very hard for my connection. 
Yeah, sorry about that. It's a connection. <laughs> so sorry, Brenda. Yeah, it's complicated, but we know that you have been there. So um, after Brenda, we have I'm Jennifer. Not dying, but my voice is like that. <laughs> yeah, I know. So tell me if you can stay for the last 10 minutes. But if not, you can try tomorrow and today maybe Jennifer can stay. Let Teacher, me know. I already have the exact 10 minutes. But if you yeah, want, but you I can stay. You appear two times, that's why. Okay. Yeah, sure. Uh, yeah, hopefully Brenda can do it tomorrow. And uh, well, if you don't have any questions, guys, uh, that will be all for today. Uh, let me check. Somebody wrote in the chat. Okay, Elizabeth. Okay, perfect. Okay, thank you, teacher, for everything. Have a great night. No, thank you for everything because I really enjoy working with you guys. So have an amazing night and please take care of yourself. Drive safely and don't forget to Bye. set up your alarm clocks. <laughs> <laughs> that's for <Okay>. me right <laughs> for everyone okay so you can yeah. go, get to work on time and be on class with be to class on time so okay hasta la vista see you bye, bye. Bye, bye. Bye, bye. Bye, bye. bye everyone good night everyone good night teacher hello francisco hey, i have a question what is the question? Uh, how can I know if my document was received for English Corporativo? Uh, you need to send a message to any of the persons in charge. Uh, it can be Elena or uh, the person who sent you the message. Oh, okay. Uh, I, I, I asked because the... the the co-workers of the Recursos Humanos. Human Resources, uh -huh. Yes, was doing, estuvo incapacitada. Okay, so it wasn't available um, because of health issues, uh -huh. Yes. Okay, I ask tomorrow for this. Perfect. Thank you, I'm sorry. You're welcome, no, okay. don't worry. Good night, good night. Uh, good night, Francisco. Thank you. Okay, Jennifer. Hey, teacher. I'm I'm trying to, to find <laughs> the no, to, yeah to, to find the the topic where I have some doubts, but I I can find it. But if you could help me with the moral, the topic from yesterday, and yesterday I have a question, and I say to myself that I will review it today, but I didn't have enough time to review it. Ah, uh, yeah. Uh, no, I'm the backup from uh, from a coworker. Okay. Okay. So it's about the. It was about moral perfect and the third condition. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So we, what is the question that you have specifically? Oh well, if you, if we want to ask you in, with moral perfect, well, we can do that. Okay. Uh, for example, let's say that. For example, uh, that yesterday, here, uh, I want to ask to my classmate, ¿Qué hubieras hecho tú en su lugar? Oh, can I ask that? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's, that's a good question. 
what would you have done? That would be the, the, the question. I'm going to write it down here. What would you have done? Yeah. What would, would you have done? Okay, another question, if you if you want to be more specific, uh, like a yes, no question, for example, uh, would you have would you... sold her anything? Uh, would you have sold her anything? The structure is like a W question, then the, the model and then the subject and then the past perfect. Uh, the perfect yeah, perfect. so uh, we use the auxiliary uh -huh, or the, the model, as you said, right? In this case, uh, if it is a yes, no question, the model, the subject and, the, and the, the, the structure of the tense, right? In this case, present perfect. Would you have told, have told, right? And the complement. Uh, if it is a WH question, yes, use the WH question plus the other structure, the model verb or the, uh, in this case, the would plus the subject and have done. So um, another example, if you want to make it more complete, let's say, uh, Let's suppose that the question is, what would you have? What would you have uh, made? No, I think done. If you had been there in her position. Or if you had been her, uh -huh. what would you have, would you have done if you had been in her position? That would be a complete question because you are using the two classes, right? The condition and the result. But in this case, uh, the person is going to give a specific answer, right? About the yeah. question. Mm -hmm. But the question includes the two parts, right? The condition, uh, if you had been, and the result, what would you have done? But it's not complete because it's not specifying what. It's mm -hmm. just asking what. So the answer is going to tell you specific information, but that, that's the way that you structure the question, okay? Basically. Okay, uh, thank you so much, teacher. That is really clear. And yes, one question, but it's not about any doctor is because in the first week I didn't do the homework in the platform because mm -hmm. the platform doesn't accept my answer. So I did it, but in the second week okay. or in the third week, I don't remember. And, but I don't know what answer do you take no, so in the this first case, one was all wrong because the platform doesn't accept my answer. No, in this case, uh, what we do is that we update the grades. So if in the first time, the, in the first week, you were, you got, let's say, 70 points. And then in the last week, when we review all the grades, <laughs> you get 90 or 100, uh, then I change the 70 for 100. Okay, thank mm -hmm. you so much, teacher. And no. thanks for your patience all the days. See you tomorrow. <laughs> no, you're welcome. Uh, thank you for your questions. I really like when students are that curious, right, about um, knowing or understanding things. That, that's a good uh, characteristic, right, to learn because mm -hmm. you see beyond and you try to understand the reason why, right? Something is like that. I think that has helped me a lot the way that you are because I'm, I consider myself as a, shy, as a shy person, but I 
have been getting confidence because of that, because I, I don't have um, any fear to ask you something. Okay. So the time explain um, you are so patient with us. Of course, I'll be here to help you in anything that I can, as long as I'm with you, right? <laughs> okay, teacher, thank so, you. Uh, no, you're welcome. Have a good night, Jennifer, and thank you for staying. See you tomorrow. Okay. Have a good night, too. Okay. And see you. Thanks. Same for you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Au revoir. Check here. Okay. Done.